If a thousand men aged 55 to 69 were screened with PSA every one to four years for about 10 years, approximately 780 men would have normal PSAs. This is good news and would be reassuring to these men. However, the recently released prostate cancer prevention trial showed approximately 15% or about 117 men will actually have prostate cancer and be falsely reassured. 100 to 120 men would have what we call a false positive test, where their PSA test would be elevated, but there would be no cancer. By positive, we typically mean a PSA over 4, but it can be age-dependent. So, for example, a PSA up to 6.5 might be normal for a 70 to 79-year-old. And by further testing, we mean that most men would have at least a rectal exam, retesting of the PSA, a transrectal ultrasound where a small probe is used to image the prostate by sending sound waves through the wall of the rectum, and finally, biopsies of the prostate to check for cancer. About a third of men going through biopsies are, are really quite bothered by symptoms such as bleeding, pain, or infection. False positives are a clear downside to PSA testing as these men would have been fine had they not been tested and would not have had the worry and, and the procedures that really would not have been the highlight of their week. 110 men would be diagnosed with prostate cancer. If treated, about 50 of these men would have had a complication from treatment, which is usually surgery or radiation therapy. So for example, a rectal dysfunction in at least 29 men, and, and likely more depending on how you define ED. Urinary incontinence, where you can't hold in your pee, for most men post-op, but continuing in about 18 men. Serious cardiovascular events in two men, blood clots in one man, and, and death due to treatment in less than one man in a thousand. Five of these men would die of their prostate cancer, and none, or, or one of them, would have been saved by screening.